so I am here with Sunflower who made a new story. All her stories are super underrated and yet they are amazing. This one is called Online Beauty, so I'm gonna check it out. Of course, I will have the original in the description down below. Please check out Sunflower and let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. Online Beauty. In my society, everything is about how many followers you have on social media. Always worried about trying to impress others for social gain. Luckily for the pretty, they have it easy. People are easily attracted to them and more likely to follow them due to their pretty looks. They are widely loved and treated wonderfully. However, the people born less attractive than others are looked down upon. But life isn't fair, is it? For my whole life I've been put down because I don't fit the beauty standards. At school I'm laughed at and ridiculed. They even go as far as name calling me. Mostly calling me Mrs. Potato Head. Too busy with my natural looks, they're blind to the fact that I'm secretly one of the prettiest people in the world. With working as a model and social media influencer, I have a lot to keep under wraps from the public. If anyone were to find out I look like this under my makeup, who knows how they'll react. Miranda Jones! Just how many times do I have to tell you to come up to the board? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> uh, so why am I up here again? <sighs> You're supposed to tell the class what you want to be once you graduate. What I want to be? Um... <laughs> Sit down, Miranda. I'm sorry, miss. Gosh, why do I always have to blurt everything out? They could have figured out my secret if I said anything more. Uh, Sephora wants to partner with you? <gasps> I need to take this call, miss. It's an emergency. I'm in the middle of a lesson, Miranda. <laughs> Thank goodness nobody's walking in the halls. It must be my lucky day. The manager would like to FaceTime, except... Uh, it's about time you answered. Sorry, sir. I was in the middle of class. Anyways, have you read my text? Oh my gosh, of course. Are you being for real? Absolutely. It's no surprise they want to partner with you. You're about to hit 10 million milestones. I still can't believe it. As of now, the only thing I'm certain about is that they want to partner with you to make a makeup product and be featured in their magazine. We'll be having a meeting at 5 at my office later today so we can speak more in depth about it. Huh? <sighs> Miranda! Oh, oh, sorry, sir. Uh, and yes, I'll be there on time. Very well, then. I'll let you get back to class now. See you later, sir. Huh? I thought I heard something, but the halls are empty. I better be more careful next time. I thought the hallways were empty when I went to make the call. Maybe I just imagined the noise and nobody was actually there. Miranda Gonzalez? Um, jeez, did you not hear anything I said? Sorry, Lindsay. For the past two periods, you've been acting all nervous. What's the matter? Sorry, it's nothing. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just tired. Anyways, like I was talking about earlier, I just reached my new milestone on Gotcha Graham. All right, Lindsay's obsession with fame. Ever since I met her in the sixth grade, she had this crazy dream about becoming famous. Little does she know that she's best friends with someone who lives her dream. That's great, Lindsay. How many? Approximately 550 followers. Oh, wow. Maybe one day your dream will come true. <laughs> Maybe you can give me a shout out. Uh-huh. You know I don't like social media, Lindsay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not like you own any social media apps anyways. Yeah. Did I just hear that right? Only 550 followers. <laughs> Cinderdales. As a result of her pretty looks, she has engrossed over 31k followers. With her egotistical personality, it's only a habit of hers to brag about her followers. If only her fans knew that behind that pretty face lies a nasty personality. Face it, you're never going to become famous. Uh, when does she ever shut up? It's not like she'll become famous either. Uh, excuse me? Uh, did I just say that out loud? Do you even know who you're talking to, Potato Head? I have 31k followers. Well, you have zero, you nobody. I can't believe you said that. Who do you even think you are? Cinda, just forget about these low lives and let's go. Of course, only for you. <laughs> huh? Huh. Miranda, I need your help. What is it 
now. I may or may not have jammed the printer. Oh, this is like the 30th time this semester, Lindsay. I know. Just please help me again. Let's make it quick. I have work to finish. Oh, great. Now's our chance. Let's go. How is she so stupid to leave her phone behind? This is like stealing candy from a baby. Now all we have to do is unlock her phone. Lucinda, why are you doing this? She's literally done nothing to us. Jeez, why are you so boring nowadays? Why can't you be fun like you used to be in middle school? Besides, I'm doing this for a reason. Better be a very important reason. It is. I was demanded to do this. Sure, you're just doing it to be a jerk. It's the truth. Trust me. Oh, hey, give me back my phone this instant. Think, Lucinda. Cameras are all around this room. If she reported her phone missing, they would check the camera footage. She's right, babe. It isn't worth the risk. Uh, fine. You saved this jerk just this time. Let's go already, losers. You just hit 10 million followers. <gasps> Linda, why don't you just calm down and tell me what's wrong? How am I supposed to calm down when my phone is missing? Well, how about trying to retrace your steps and find out where you left it? Oh my gosh, you're so smart! Thanks, Lindy! Miranda? Dylan Hills, one of Lucinda's closest friends since forever. He's been in all my classes since the first grade, yet we've never spoken to each other. Not even a word. So why in the world is he talking to me now? Congrats on 10 million followers. Oh! <laughs> I think you're confused because I have no clue what you're talking about, Dylan. Then maybe this will help you understand. Ah! Oh my gosh, you stole my phone and looked through it. I, uh, um, that's not true. But that's not the point. You do realize I found out your secret identity. Oh my gosh, really? I had absolutely no clue, huh? If you dare to tell Anyone? Chill, I would never tell anyone, ever. Great, because if you did, I'd sue you. Now give me my phone back. This isn't the right place to talk about this. Meet me at the cafe on Sun Road after school at 6 on the dot. Will do, Captain. Does Lucinda really hang out with that weirdo? Hmm. Why do you look so nervous? You know I won't tell anyone about your secrets. And how do I know I can trust you? Because I'm a very trustable person. And a weirdo. What was that? Nothing. Anyways, let's end the chit chat and talk about our problem. No, it's not that serious, right? Not that serious? I've spent my whole life hiding the secrets, even from my closest friends. All to find out some moron like you found out. Uh, sorry, uh, I didn't think about it that way. Uh, just forget about it. Let's just not waste time and start our rule list. Rule list? Secret identity partnership rules. Number one, keep everything between us. Number two, don't interact too much at school with each other. Number three, never bring this up at school unless I say something first. And number four, never tell Lucinda. <laughs> That's it? That's so easy. Well, if it's so easy, I better not find out you break a rule. Jeez, calm down. Like I said, I'm a trustable person. Um, let's not do whatever that was again. Uh, don't do what? Winking at me? Will do, Captain. Uh, I don't know how Lucinda's friends with you. Anyways, now that we're finished here, I should get going. No, you can't. And why is that exactly? It's way too dangerous for a lady to walk home this late at night. So, too bad. I'm leaving. No can do. Now that we're business partners, I can't have my partner getting kidnapped. Fine, but we aren't business partners. Hey, then how about Batman and Robin? Or maybe Tom and Jerry? Oh, Dylan, this is my house. Thanks so much for walking me home. No problem. Have a nice night. You too, Dylan. <sighs> I'm like how I've pictured Dylan for as long as I've known him. He's actually really sweet. Sticking to our rule list, we acted as if the whole encounter from the other day never happened. But as countless days went by of sneaking hidden glances at one another, it was only a certain amount of time till people would begin to notice. So, are you finally going to tell me what's going on or no? What do you mean, Lindsay? You and Dylan. I'm not clueless enough to not notice you two stealing glances at one another. Uh, <laughs> 
I have no clue what you're talking about. I just realized I have to go visit my history teacher to turn in my missing work. Bye! I can't believe that Mr. Finch is literally giving us that test. He just taught the lesson yesterday. He's crazy. I know, right? For someone who just received a test from Mr. Finch, you seem quite happy. Why the big smile? Hmm, do you deserve to know? Oh, please, just tell me already, Miranda. Fine! Next week, I'm going to a makeup collab with my favorite model, Leah Cortez. What? You mean the actual Leah Cortez? Oh, you know about her? She's literally dropped dead gorgeous. Give me your autograph. Only if you're super nice to me. Huh? Lindsay, hey, are you busy right now? Wanna hang? Oh, who texted you? Just my friend, Lindsay. Oh, have you heard about the fourth season of Crazier Things coming out soon? Is that the show that has taken like four years to make the recent season? Who is that? Somebody in the distance. Is that Lindsay? I feel like she's getting sad because her friend is ignoring her. Dylan, wake up right now! Listen, don't freak out, okay? Somehow, your identity was leaked! And the whole school is going crazy! <gasps> ah! What the heck is going on? Look, you need to go. Was all of this you, Dylan? Were you the one that exposed my identity? Of course not! Well, it has to be you! You were the only one who knew my secrets! I can't believe you've done this! I thought I could actually trust you! Listen, Miranda, it wasn't me! Just shut up already! I don't want to talk to you ever again! Or maybe it was Lucinda! Weeks ago, I had thought I was the luckiest person ever! I was finally able to trust someone with my secret that hadn't treated me any different despite my popularity! But who knew I could be so wrong? I gave all my trust to Dylan, and he threw it all away! I should have known by him being friends with Lucinda that I couldn't have trusted him! Just as before, the only friend I could trust is Lindsay! It kinda looks like Lindsay was the one at the carnival! She did get a little upset! She might be jealous because she always wanted to be famous. Okay, maybe it wasn't her. Or was it? Maybe she's pretending. I can't believe you had to keep such a secret to yourself for so long. Just remember, I'm always here. You know you can always tell me anything. After all, we've always been best friends. How about we go to the mall, just to get your mind off things? I am shocked that Lindsay would still act like this because she was definitely very upset. And I'm surprised that she wouldn't be jealous or, or like, you know, upset for the fact that Miranda never told her that she's been popular this whole time. She was literally lying to her face. I don't know. Something seems fishy about this. Yeah, she seems a little too happy about this. Very quickly, it wasn't just the school that knew my secret, rather, the whole world! Oh my gosh, everybody's hating on her! And it all happened because I was foolish and trusted Dylan. Lindsay was the only person in my life that has ever liked me despite my looks and was friends with me for who I really am. But then one night changed it all. What? Who could it be at this hour? Who is it? Just me. Uh, what do you want from me? Look, I just want to talk. Please, just give me five minutes to explain. And why should I? I, because I, I want you to hear my side of the story. Please, five minutes, and that's it. Now, I know you may not trust me and won't believe me at first, but you have to hear me out. I was not the person who leaked your identity. As a matter of fact, I never even told anyone. Not even Lucinda. And who exactly could it have been? And that's where it begins to get sticky. About a week ago, the day your identity was leaked, I immediately tried to find out who could have done such a thing. After finding nothing but dead ends, I finally went to interrogate Lucinda since she's been acting rather off. Why won't you just tell me what's up with you? I know you know something. Uh, hi, Dylan. Remember the day we went to go steal Miranda's phone from the library? Uh, well, the day before, some pink-haired nerd told me to steal Miranda's phone and give it to her by the end of the day. She even offered me $100, so of course I had to take her up on the offer. And that's when it clicked. Something was really off about your friend Lindsay. <gasps> I knew it! The following day, when she went to the bathroom, I went through her bag. Sure enough, I found her personal journal and snuck off with it. And there, she kept notes about watching you and confirming if your identity was real. What? But 
how did she even find out? She wrote down on December 28th that she caught you on a phone call with your manager talking about your channel. At first, she was going to keep it a secret, but as soon as she put the pieces together that I found out about your secrets and you still didn't tell her about it, she was furious. So then, due to the jealousy of your fame and fortune, she decided to tell everyone. I knew it! I, I can't believe she did this to me! Well, you shouldn't have lied to your best friend. I'm just saying. I mean, what have I ever done to her? I always tried to motivate her to gain her own success. It's not your fault. She was the one who misused your trust and betrayed you. All you can do now is own up to your real identity. Yeah, she should have been honest in the first place. To her best friend, at least. Own up to my real identity. Great idea, Dylan. Uh, I'm... Lost. I'll post a video explaining why I've kept my identity hidden and own up to my mistake of keeping it all a secret. Do it only if you're comfortable. Don't worry, I'm ready. And so I did. As soon as I posted the video of my real identity, people began to sympathize with me and not solely judge me based on my looks. It felt as though a heavy weight was lifted off my shoulders. After talking with Lindsay, I decided to cut ties with her and surround myself with better people. I was finally able to come to terms with my looks and live the happy life I always wanted to live. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. So that was Online Beauty, a Gacha Club mini movie by Sunflower. It's such a sweet story and it just proves that you should be happy with the way you are. You are already beautiful as you are. If you want to wear makeup, you can do that and have fun with it, but don't feel obligated to try to hide your real identity because the people that truly care about you will care about you for who you truly are regardless of what you look like. So I love that story. That was so sweet. And of course, surround yourself with people that truly care about you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Of course, I will have the original in the description down below. Please check out Sunflower because she's highly underrated. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or merman. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.